like it, so there's uh, going to be space hotels in uh, space, I guess. It's redundant, but uh, 2012, that's pretty soon. But anyway, I was watching this video, and the first thing I noticed was that now uh, YouTube is getting, like, commercials or something happening here before your video starts. You have to watch this, like, oh, dreadful, like, 15 seconds, 12 seconds of, like, shitty commercials or, like, so what's that, that progressive financial or something? And you have to watch these advertisements and, like, the whole reason I stopped watching television was to uh, get away from all these dreadful commercials and stuff and now they're on YouTube and you can't even, like, fast forward through them or anything. And, like, I'm never gonna buy a Chevy truck or go to Progressive Financial to invest in my stocks or anything. Like, I don't know who these are directed to. Like, usually if you're on YouTube, you don't have much of a life, let alone money to buy a Chevron truck or something. But anyway, so in 2012, we're gonna have a, a hotel in space and it's gonna cost uh, $4.5 million dollars to go up there and you get to watch uh, 15 sunsets a day because you'll be orbiting the earth every 90 minutes but I'm sure like space is fun but to bring your family up there it seemed like it would be quite expensive because you have to go through this like rigorous training like the astronauts do or they like put you in the uh Ah, uh, what's that thing called? It spins around really fast, and you sit down, and in your face gets all mushy. The gravitron thing, where you get like used to gravity and like the pressure of like launching into space, and then you go up there, and like I don't know how many sunsets you can watch before it gets a little boring. Like 15 a day. Like, oh honey, there's another one. Oh, there's another one, honey. Oh, look, honey, there's another sunset, honey, honey, honey. And then the kids are getting a little antsy because they're up in space, and it's fun for a little bit. But then they want to go outside at some point, and then the mom gets mad, like, ah, you kids don't appreciate anything. You don't appreciate that evening, what your father and I do. It's like, oh, mommy, mommy, I miss puppy at home in our mansion because we're rich people up in space now. And, like, I don't know, like, oh, this is, like, the first thing we do in space is, like, build space stations. And that was a good idea. And then hotels right after, like, what, then we build, like, space prisons or something and just get the prisoners up in space. And then, like, that way they can't escape prison if you're up in space, right? There'll be less breakouts, that's for sure. Maybe people, like, I don't know, maybe they'd want to commit more crime because being up in space is cool. And, ah, take away the windows, I guess, would be a uh, way no more sunsets for them, no more, you know, like, getting letters and stuff. Like, I don't know what other kind of cool things you can do in space. I guess hotels are like, pretty much it. You can make, like, space landfills or something. But anyway, I was, like, trying to think of, like, well, space is so soon, $4.5 million, like, uh, just to go to a hotel. And what else is up there to do? Is there uh, satellite TVs or a swimming pool and no gravity? Like, I don't know. A hotel in space might be fun. I don't know like, how many 15 sunsets, 90 minutes are on the Earth. Seems kind of strange, but also these commercials on YouTube have to stop. I don't really like them at all because I just want to watch the video. I don't want to waste time watching commercials on here, but oh well, that's the way life goes, I guess. So happy in your hotel. Have a lot of money anyway. Bye!